Today I'm going to be cooking a leftover chicken hash um, and here are my ingredients. So we've got potatoes here, so they're being cubed and parboiled. I've got potatoes and sweet potatoes, I've got leftover vegetables, whatever's been in my fridge. So I just opened my fridge, I found some broccoli, some courgette and some carrots. I found a few mushrooms, these are raw, I'm going to fry them and there's my leftover chicken. I'm going to add some pepper and salt and some mixed herbs and some paprika. So here we are, my pan. I'm going to put two tablespoons of oil. And then I've got my oil in there heating up and then I'm going to add my potatoes. And I'm going to just let them fry for a minute. I want them to get nice and brown on both sides and they're nice and crispy. And at this point, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. And my paprika. So I'm just going to add my paprika in. You can see that there. Maybe half of that. I'm just going to let these fry for a minute. They might stick to the pan, but that's okay. So here we have my potatoes frying, waiting for them to go nice and brown. I'm going to add my mushrooms. And let them fry for a few minutes. So there's my potatoes and mushrooms fried nicely. And basically I'm just going to add everything else. My potatoes, sorry, my chicken and my cooked vegetables. And I'm just going to let them fry for another few minutes just so everything gets nice and hot. I'm going to add in my mixed herbs. Remember I've already added in my salt and pepper. And again I'm going to let that fry again for another few minutes. There we are, we can see that frying nicely. If it starts sticking, just add a drop of water to stop it from sticking to the pan. So just a little bit of water from the kettle. Never add oil into a hot pan, always add a little bit of water and that will generate some steam and warm things through. There you are, as you can see that's cooking nicely, nice and warming through, nicely warming through. Got to be careful with cooked raw chicken to make sure that it gets cooked thoroughly. If you want to, you can put a lid on this for a minute if you like. Mm, it smells delicious. There. I think that's ready to eat. There's lots of steam coming off it. So what I'm going to do just pop it in the oven for a minute while I fry a couple of eggs. Well, here we are. Just going to fry a few eggs. A little bit more olive oil. You can use the same pan. You can just transfer your food onto a onto a plate or onto plates, and then just fry your eggs. I'm just going to crack two eggs into my frying pan. Might add a bit of butter. Give it a bit of extra flavour. There we are, just going to fry these for a second and then I'm going to serve it up. There's my eggs cooking nicely. Here's my Here's our mixed hash, you can see all the um, chicken hash, you can see all the vegetables in there. I'm going to serve this up. Nice healthy lunch or dinner. Leftover roast chicken. An egg on top. Oh. My egg broke, but that's okay. There's one. Here we are. Oh, doesn't that look tasty? So there we are. Two plates with broken eggs of chicken and vegetable leftover hash. So like I said, it's something you can do with your leftover Sunday. Roast. Now we're going to eat it.